Welcome to another repair video. In this video we have a PRM-28 and um, there's nothing wrong with this at the moment but uh, I'm just going to go into what you have to do when you uh, have to clean out the filters. Uh, normally what happens is they complain about the unit being dead or to be uh, one of the warning lights flashing. Um, uh, this middle one here I think flashes. And I'm just going to plug it out. Uh, have it on that long so it doesn't have to cool down but just be careful we have two filters one here it's cleaned already I've cleaned it out it should be oops dropped that cleaned up clean it with a soft brush it is delicate so don't uh, burst the membrane and there's another one here but also when these are blocked there's also another problem the, um, sometimes the unit will shut down there's a thermal fuse inside this I'm just going to show you how to get to that um, you have to take off these two screws in the front first. There's one here at the back. It's quick enough. It's not as if it's a, a major job. You'd have to take it off the ceiling if it's mounted on the ceiling. And uh, Take these screws off. <laughs> Is it you gotta get over this little VGA uh, connector here? When you do that, it comes out. You don't even have to take off this if you don't want. I'm just going to reposition this camera to give you a closer uh, view of this, uh, where you get this fuse. Underneath this main board here, around here, is the main power supply where your AC comes in and uh, sends the voltages off the, the various different parts of the uh, um system you got a, a ballast board down there also for the high voltage for the lamp that's uh, um below the power supply but there's a little hole here in the pcb i just get a closer shot of that see the hole there's not a problem with it now but you just go in there with the screwdriver and press down and you'll feel a little bit of a click and you might be able to hear it clicking and that resets the thermal uh, fuse that's in there um, then it's only a matter of powering it up and uh, see if it come out of standby uh, without any uh, uh, warning lights and shutting down of course after cleaning the um, the filters um, you have to go into the menu and reset the uh, filter counter as well uh, otherwise the uh, warning will come up on the the screen telling you to clean your filters and uh, you can select the amount of hours yeah you can use it for um before it'll, uh, that light will come on and you can reset it to zero all that remains now really to do is put the uh, cover on and uh, test it and um, i hope that's of uh, some help out there to someone working on these units uh, as there's not much information available out there uh, thanks for watching.